Seriously? The chocolate? We're not gonna drink without eating. Alcoholics do that. The chocolate is the most expensive thing in the mini bar besides the wine. Would you rather we had ordered room service? Definitely not. I spoke to the front desk. They had a delivery fee, a 17% gratuity, and some sort of fucking cover charge like we're in Italy. I've always wondered why they give you two glasses even when you're traveling alone. Because one would be so sad. Here's two what? Please. think I was going to be intimate this weekend or any weekend. Superman couldn't see through those pajamas. So you try. People have jousted in lighter clothing. Frank. Present. When you said before that I was an attractive woman, what did you mean? What do you mean, what did I mean? You're an attractive woman. You're physically appealing. Well, can you be more specific? Your facial features subscribe to the golden ratio. What? One to the quantity one half times radical five plus one, the golden ratio. You can tell that? It's an estimate. And you have the faults of Aphrodite. What are the faults of Aphrodite? That's the name of the particular graceful way that the cheeks of beautiful women arrange themselves when they smile. There's a gentle creasing that begins at the cheekbone and runs downward in a slightly arc diagonal, directing the eye to the mouth. It's aesthetically I've never heard of the term holds of Aphrodite. I coined it. Then it's not a real thing. Then it and you are bullshit. I googled around and there was no name for it, so I coined it. It's established now. Bullshit. In my experience, there's at least a 90% correlation between beautiful women and women who have the folds of Aphrodite. Oh. The folds cut across races and ethnicities. Well, what else about me? Well... slender, but not to the point of a troubled relationship with food. That's actionable profiling right there. File a grievance. And your curves are very sexy, but not vulgar. Everything very much in proportion, firm, but not overly, which I've always found weird and prepossessing. Your arms bespeak physical fitness and athleticism, but nothing sapphic. <laughs> And your ankles quietly aver that you will keep your body well into later age. It's despicable the way men love their women. In short, you are beautiful, graceful, and elegant. Also, you don't dress in an overtly sexy way. You seem to understand that dressing sexy is actually the opposite of being sexy. That certain information should have to be earned rather than given away for free to anyone and everyone who passes by your doorstep. If this were 1732... I'm giving you a compliment. You're calling me a prude. I'm suggesting that you've taken the high road. Even in this flagrant, flaunting day and age, you have chosen to preserve mystery. Yes, the pajamas go too far, but I applaud the ethos. Would you like to know about you? No. Yes, you would. You're very handsome. You have powerful eyes. Your hair will never be a problem. The corners of your mouth touch but do not cross the vertical lines which bisect your eyes. In profile, your chin extends exactly the same as your lower lip, which is an ideal. Bodily, you feel strong and substantial, sinuous, but not wiry. Satorially, you get high marks. You tuck in your shirts because you realize that tails out is a ridiculous way to dress. You wear your pants low and your shoes are legitimate. And you have a beautiful penis. I do. Oh, come on, Frank. Surely people have told you that your entire life. No. Well, it's a very nice. It's straight. And you would not believe how epidemic a problem that is. Also, it's balletically formed. It's not so big as to ever be a cause for concern, but it's big enough never to be the object of ridicule or scorn. You're in a very sweet spot there. 
Are you saying that Keith's penis is not straight? Can you imagine that we would have gone this entire weekend without saying these things to each other? Politically formed? That's right. People are ridiculous and pathetic. Animals, that's all. We want to believe that there's some high-minded cosmic meaning behind love, but the truth is we're drawn to and make most of our decisions based upon shapes we find appealing and colors and textures and smells and tastes and spatial relations. It's so stupid. This is pretty good. I mean, when I think about what people look like when they kiss or have sex, I want to vomit. You almost did vomit. I mean, there's nothing beautiful or transcendent about being human. Ultimately, it's just the filthy business of a revolting species trying to survive. I mean, if you've ever really watched another person eat or seen yourself in a mirror taking a shit or walked through South Coast Plaza, mm. you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I had my eyes open when I was fucking you, and I thought we must have looked pretty good. My father thought he had a good golf swing.